in this video we will learn how to make an rf box in detail and i will give the material list also so let's get into the video And now we record the following components for the NF chamber project. And this is the single sided PCB and one double sided PCB. And six NRF 24L01 modules. This is the uh, NRF modules and yeah, two ESP32 modules also, two LED indicators, and this is the 3.7 volt uh, lithium ion battery with a 1000 mAh uh, rating these are the 0 0.96 inch uh, displays and one buck converter dc to dc and uh, female connectors and two charging modules and also a set of uh, five switches also so these are the six nrf24001 adapter boards and these are the capacitors with rating 10 UF 50 volt capacitors and these are the female strips for counting the ESP32 display modules so and will require some nut and bolts also so these are the nut and bolts Now let's see. So this is the single sided PCB and here I am arranging the NRF24 L01 adapters and ESP32 module and display and switches also and this is the final layout. This is how we place the ESP32 modules on the female strips. And here the displays. And this is how it looks. Finally, and this is the back side after soldered the female strips.
and the double sided PCB like this one on one so this is the double sided PCB accommodates the second set of NRF modules and the battery packs both boards are stacked together using uh, bolts and nuts uh, let's get into the programming download and extract the source code provided in the description open the folder open the NRF box main folder and open the library folder now copy these files and go to the document section open the Arduino open the libraries and paste the copied files here that's it and again open the downloads open the folder again open the NRF box main here copy the NRF box v2 into the document section directly yes open the NRF box v2 folder yeah scroll down and you can see this uh, NRF box v2 you can open this in an Arduino IDE now scroll the program down here you can see the about section your source code and update it uh, with your details and then go to the preferences and paste the provided link and paste this uh, link in the description also i'll uh, provide the link after that go to the board manager and search for ESP32 here you can find uh, ESP32 by Espress systems and install the version 2.0.11 or 2.0.12 if 2.0.11 is unavailable go to the tool selection Here you can set the ESP32 and in ESP32 you can select node 32 s and then open the port and select the COM port 3 and then here it's disabled and flash frequency 80 MHz and partition schema minimal SPI FFS Upload speed 921600. Click upload and uh, wait until the program is successfully uploaded to the ESP32 board. It will take some more time. Wait until it's uploaded successfully. Yeah, now the program is uploaded. We'll go into the circuit and assembly. And here you can see this. And these are the two ESP32 control boards. Connections are made between the lower and upper PCBs using jumper wires. And these are the two battery charging modules for ESP32 boards. And this is the lithium ion battery. Here you can see 1000 milliampere. And these are the switches. And I'll provide the 
connection diagram in the description you can check out from the description itself and this is the indication light and this is the buttons one for up down and ok left and right buttons and this is the switches for the two uh, ESP32 boards and this is the NRF model place it on the adapter board like this place this NRF modules uh, tightly you can use capacitors instead of adapter boards also and place this an uh, ESP32 modules on the female connection strips like this you place them like this so next the second one that's it and the displays these are the four pin displays so place them on the four pin displays and uh, here one is blue and one are white align them properly so you can now place the batteries on the downside PCB okay once assembled power on the devices it's, it's powering on so now place this uh, button caps Now again switch on the device yeah let's see this is powering on now go to the BLE's MR section open it you can see the six radios uh, radio models are active so they are working fine you must check the uh, check before uh, connecting all these uh, NRF modules are working or not So instead of the adapters, you can use this uh, capacitors also on the NRF module itself. You can place this uh, on the NRF module. Now switch off and I'm using some glue drops here to secure the batteries on the PCB just place this glue drop, glue drop on the battery and second one also That's it. Now you'll place a batteries on the PCB. Yes. After this, uh, again, switch on the device. 
before that uh, we'll stack these boards using nuts and bolts yeah now both boards are stacked using nuts and bolts and finally it looks like this looks great right like the video so switch on the device after that confirm that all nrf modules are active yeah all the nrf modules are active you can go to the pro section here you can see that multiple features such as wi-fi bluetooth 2.4 gigahertz bands wireless usb and more you can see this how it working and everything yeah pressing the buttons you can see the status of the display uh, modules like active or deactive everything here the bluetooth and radio this is for rc this is for uh, cameras this is for wi-fi and this is for an rf24 and uh, this completes the uh, nrf jammer build uh, which is both powerful in performance and neatly designed So please don't forget to like share and subscribe the video and uh, Let me know in the comments your opinion